biological and agricultural engineering is uniquely positioned to really address some of these grand challenges related to natural resources management because of the way that we're embracing both the biology and the engineering principles of these systems. So one thing that's unique about biological and agricultural engineering is that we're taking aspects of other core engineering disciplines like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, but we're putting them in the context of managing natural resources and addressing grand challenges related to providing humanity with food, water, fiber, and energy. And in particular, we have a really strong focus on sustainability in this department, so how do we use resources while still using principles from these different facets of engineering like mechanical, electrical, and civil. Um, but we're putting them in a really applied context and in a way that we're directly addressing many of the challenges of today and tomorrow. Hi, my name is Gary Fox and I'm the department head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering here at NC State University. And I want to thank you for taking your time to learn a little bit more about biological engineering at NC State. We believe that biological engineering is the engineering of the future because we create innovative solutions by tying nature and ecology and biological processes into the hardcore engineering sciences. We are really engineering a sustainable planet. I want you to think about a little bit about the growing population, the amount of food that's going to be needed to be grown in a sustainable way to support that population. Think about the access to clean air and clean water that we are going to need but then also organisms and ecosystems are gonna need. And then think about the need that we have for finding renewable resources, uh, renewable sources of energy. Uh, how do we capture carbon and sequester that carbon? All of those are at the heart of what we do as biological engineers and why we believe biological engineering is the engineering of the future. Let me show you and tell you a little bit more about our department. We do have two undergraduate degree programs our biological engineering program, which is what we're gonna talk about today. But then we also have a biological and agricultural engineering technology program. That program is aimed at graduates that wanna work at the interface between the engineers and the clients using state-of-the-art technology to, to create and put into place those innovative solutions. We're a top-ranked program, currently ranked sixth in the United States among our discipline. And our enrollment is a good size enrollment, but it's not large. We're not one of the larger engineering programs. So what's the benefit there? Well, the benefit is, is that you're going to get the big school resources of NC State University, go back, with the family atmosphere of Weaver Labs. We have a highly engaged faculty that are going to be involved in your academic and career advising. They're going to be able to connect you with industry uh, and with alumni that are working in various fields. And in fact, we have nearly 100% placement after graduation. Biological engineers are, are not well as well known as a civil engineer, a mechanical engineer, but, but you get an opportunity as a biological engineer to separate yourself, to again, be the one that's leading those innovative solutions using natural solutions. We also have highly involved departmental student organizations. One thing that you're gonna hear about is that we don't only care about your about developing you as an engineer, but we also care about developing you as a leader and as a communicator. We do this through a lot of hands-on classroom, laboratory, and field education. Our graduates are highly sought after because employers love our graduates because they will just jump in and find a solution. They're not afraid to get their hands dirty. And that's because of that hands-on education. We're not just gonna teach you, for example, an electrical circuit on a book you're going to build one. We're not just going to teach you about flow in a river. You're going to step in a river and actually measure the flow. Lots of different uh, examples just like that. Let me take you through our concentrations. We really have four different concentrations in the department. We have bioprocess engineering, ecological engineering, environmental engineering, our agricultural engineering concentration, which is at really the heart of where the department originated. And then we really have a kind of an emphasis area that's, that's new in data analytics and integrated modeling. But let me take you through each one. Our bioprocess engineering program really looks at conversion, it really looks at connecting, again, natural solutions using biological principles tied in with engineering concepts to look at things like conversion of biomass into biofuels and bioproducts, uh, creation of pharmaceuticals and nutraceuticals, uh, fermentation, product separation technologies, 
uh, process, handling, and storage of agricultural products, of food and fiber that we're going to need for a sustainable planet moving forward. Industrial enzymatic reactions, modeling of biological materials, and then also bioremediation for environmental preservation. One of our brand new faculty members that we just hired, and we have a lot of brand new faculty members in our department, which is such an exciting aspect of our department right now, work specifically in carbon capture and carbon sequestration. This is a fantastic concentration area. We also have ecological and environmental engineering concentration areas. Again, taking natural solutions and the, the natural, working with the natural environment along with those engineering principles. Ecological engineering, we do a lot of work in stream and river restoration, now a billion dollar industry in the United States. We do a lot of work with wetlands. How do we restore wetlands? How do we protect wetlands? We do a lot of work with green infrastructure and low impact development, a stormwater management practice that says instead of using car and concrete and hard structures, let's figure out a way to use more soft structures and the biology and the e ecological principles uh, to manage that stormwater resource. A lot of our work is focused in the environmental engineering area where we look at water and air pollution control, irrigation and drainage engineering, it's completely vital for how we're going to produce food and potential resources and, and um, you know, bioenergy crops and things like that. Solid liquid waste management, stormwater management, water resources engineering, uh, water and wastewater treatment processes. Much of what our concentrations focus on in our department is that, yeah, we can do water and wastewater treatment, but we want to actually work with nature and the environment and the watershed to actually treat the contaminants before they get to our drinking water source. Again, these are very, very strong concentrations in our department with a number of really fantastic existing faculty members along with new faculty members in this area. Our agricultural engineering concentration is really at the heart of our program. It was originally really the, the emphasis area of our program. And while we still have lots of graduates that go to work for places like John Deere and Caterpillar, the agricultural engineering concentration has combined those aspects of machine systems engineering with new aspects in decision support systems and GPS, remote sensing, unmanned aerial vehicles, unmanned surface vehicles. It's a fantastic combination of all of those different areas. And again, some really outstanding and really fantastic uh, faculty members within this concentration. Really one of our big emphasis areas that we've created in the department, not yet a concentration, but something that actually goes across all of our concentration areas, is work in the area of data analytics and integrated modeling. If you have an interest in computer science, but you really feel like you want to take that computer science knowledge and apply it to real natural systems, think about coming into biological engineering. Because again, we have that area in data analytics and integrated modeling where we look at things like using computer programs and computer software to look at spatial, temporal dynamics of different socio-environmental systems. Uh, we look at systems that are interconnected, food, energy, and water. Those are all interconnected within a nexus. How can we use the latest and greatest computer technology, things like um, life cycle assessments, techno uh, economic assessments, uh, systems analysis, process optimization. How can we combine all of those things together in order to better prepare uh, a sustainable planet moving forward? We have created some Venn diagrams that kind of show you how our programs differ from some of the other engineering programs. While these Venn diagrams are not um, uh, do they not contain everything that all these other programs do? We think they give you at least an understanding of the differences between other engineering programs and biological engineering. And so what you will see is in the gray area are our BAE ecological and BAE environmental programs versus a traditional environmental engineering program. Traditional environmental engineering programs tend to focus on things like wastewater and water treatment. Again, using more hard structures, things also like landfills, hazardous waste management. We tend to focus again more on the natural environment, things like wetlands and streams. We look at the ecology of the system, um, but we also look at things such as air quality and how we control emissions, how we, sequ how we sequester carbon, how do we handle and do things like 
uh, new treatment technologies such as anaerobic digestion to look at those uh, look at ways that we can extract resources from waste streams. Uh, and then at the center of all of this is really the hydrology and water quality aspects, the data analytics, and the ability to understand the watershed as a system. Our bioprocessing concentration, similar to a chemical engineering degree, but while the chemical engineering degree might be focused more on the petroleum, petrochemical, uh, polymer science, nanoscience side, we tend to focus more on, again, renewable energy. We focus on the carbon sequestration, carbon capture, conversion of biomass materials. We have a food engineering uh, aspect of our department. Um, again, pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, number of different aspects uh, related to, similar to, but different from a chemical engineering degree. And then our agricultural engineering, which again has, has really taken the the strong aspects of machine systems engineering, but put that now with precision agriculture. You know, we focus more a lot on decision support systems, digital livestock farming for raising sustainable food sources uh, for our planet, precision agriculture, digital agriculture, robotics, UAVs, and drones. So hopefully these Venn diagrams give you a little bit more information about some of the career paths that you could pursue with a biological engineering degree. Let me also mention a very unique aspect of our program, and that's our nationally recognized Senior Designer Capstone Program. It is a two-semester program, and like I told you before, where we focus a lot on hands-on education, a lot of that aspect is in our Senior Design Program, where you not only are going to design something in working with an industrial client, you're actually going to build a prototype, and you're going to test that prototype. The team up at the top here are, have actually built what is referred to as, a, as the, a pine baler separator, which takes dirty pine straw that might have sticks and pine cones and separates it out into a clean pine straw that could be used and sold as a mulch. They will soon be, they've already started the process of patenting their design. They built this entire trailer mounted unit as part of our senior design program. The team at the bottom, which is more of an ecological or environmental engineering program, they not only designed the floating wetland for uh, a lake here in the in the Raleigh Cary uh, apex area, but they also built it and constructed it and monitored its performance. That's the hands-on aspect that you're going to get in our program. The other thing I want to mention about our program is that again we have a very very highly engaged student clubs. We have a professional society called the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers or ASABE. We have a number of different competition teams that you can get involved with, including the Pack Pullers team, uh, which is a very, very strong competition team in an international competition. We have a Fountain Wars design team, and we have a number of different honor societies within our department. One of the new aspects of the department that we have really emphasized during my three years as department head is really the buildup of undergraduate research programs in the department. We have our own, our own undergraduate research programs, including our REAP Scholars Program, REEP. We have our own our research experience for undergrad program that we just started this year. A Dragonfly Pondworks Scholars Program, which actually works with a local company called Dragonfly Pondworks. And then we have a number of engineering teaching fellows programs and also study abroad programs. One of the, one of the really exciting new study abroad programs is to learn about Roman engineering going to Spain with Dr. Bill Hunt, who is the international expert in stormwater, low impact development, and green infrastructure. We have a program that's a nationally uh, competitively funded program through the USDA with Dr. Natalie Nelson, one of our brand new faculty members. And Dr. Nelson actually takes students to China for several weeks. There are a lot of different employers that are going to go and, and want to hire our graduates. Again, biological engineering graduates are highly sought after. And in, if you look at 2018 data, median salary from those gra from our graduates at the undergraduate level, $58,750, right there in line with the other engineering programs at NC State University. And I listed some of the companies there on the right side, but there's a lot of different companies that actually hire our graduates, and that list continues to grow today. Again, people are understanding the need to, to think about how to create innovative natural solutions. I like to say at all times that BAE is a gateway degree. And I think highlighting some of these young alumni is a perfect way to show you that. 
Caitlin Perkins, graduated in 2019, is now a Rotational Development Program Associate with Pfizer. Lauren Cambridge, uh, graduated in 2018, is a Water Resources Design Engineer with McAdams Engineering. Alex Greeson, graduated in 2018, works for Deere um, in their Construction Machinery Division. Kayla Cassa uh, was a graduate student that graduated from our department and now works in the Stream Restoration area. Uh, with Northwest Hydraulic Consultants. You can really do lots of different things with a biological engineering degree, whether that's medical school, whether that's law school, or whether that's going into graduate school, or that's going to work with a, with a company immediately. So again, we really believe and strongly believe that biological engineering is on the rise. We have a number of brand new faculty that we've hired. Uh, we have eight new assistant professors that we've hired, four new female engineering professors. We've done updates and renovations to our laboratories. Uh, if, if you have any interest in coming to visit uh, and learning more about our department, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can visit at the bottom there. It shows our website, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Look at those social media and look at the things that we do. It's really a family atmosphere in our department. We're here to support you through your education. And again, we're going to support you not only becoming the best, highest quality engineer that you can be, but we're going to make you a leader. And we're going to make you a leader that is, again, working towards a sustainable planet using the state of the science, technology, engineering, computer science aspects within our degree program. Again, I hope that you've learned a little bit about biological engineering in this video. Thank you for your time and go pack.